All right, guys, we're going to use the empirical rule, but this time we're going to throw it on the Desmos and we're going to use the previous prop, uh, problem so we can verify some of, some of our work. Uh, we're going to start. The average car sold in the United States gets an average of 25 miles per gallon. The efficiency of the cars sold in the United States are normally distributed with a standard deviation of two miles per gallon. And in the previous video, we made the empirical rule by hand. And now let's bring this over to Desmos and uh, toy around with the graph. So the first thing we wanna do is just remember that the uh, mean mm -hmm. is 25. So mu is equal to 25 miles per gallon. And the standard deviation is equal to two miles per gallon. And when we set this up, it's really easy. We're gonna come over to our um, graphing cells over here. We're gonna put D equals, and I'm gonna name the distribution. I'm just gonna name it D. I'm gonna type normal uh, dist, and that's normal distribution. And what I do is it'll ask me, it says the mean and the standard deviation. Well, the mean is 25 um, and the standard deviation is two. Uh, what that does is based off of our graph on this page is it centers the, the peak of the normal curve right on the X value of 25. And then we have as low as 19 and 31 based off of our, off of our standard deviation. So when we do this, I'm gonna go back to um, Desmos and go to the graphing settings. Um, I'm going to come over to the X min. I'm going to put 19 in here. I'm going to put 31. And when I do normal distribution, I always start with a zero in the Y and I go as high as one. And that usually gives me a great insight on what's going to happen with that normal curve. Sometimes it's larger, sometimes it's smaller, but in this case, it gives us a great picture. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll answer a couple of questions off of here. Just verify some of our work. Um, it says, what percent of the vehicles sold in the United States have an efficiency between 23 and 27? And we found our answer to be 68 with the empirical rule. So let's go to Desmos and just verify that. You'll see that underneath normal dist, uh, it'll say find cumulative probability, CDF. All you gotta do is click on that and you put in the minimum. So the minimum we were looking for was 23. The maximum was 27. And if we put in 23 and 27, it will give us approximately 0.6826 or 27. And that's roughly about 68% verifying the answer that we were given on part A. On part B, it says, what percent of vehicles have an efficiency greater than 29? Now notice that when it says greater than 29, there is not a limit to the top. So when we do this piece, there's not a limit to the top. So when we go to the Desmos, we know that 29 is going to be our lowest. One of the things we should recognize with the empirical rule is once we get past the value of 29, which is right here, there's not much data. Because there is not much data past that, because the majority of the data is gonna fall in within um, the first uh, two and three standard deviations of the mean, um, it doesn't really matter how high we go, as long as we go past where, um, where it starts to completely flatten out. So maybe about 31 is where I'm gonna to go to. And we can verify that it is roughly about 0.0214. And if I was to go up even further, like 35, notice it doesn't change very much. It becomes 2.2%. But that does verify our answer of roughly 2.5%. Uh, it's pretty daggone close to that. Um, let's go to C. It says, what efficiency level is greater than 84% of all vehicles? And it says, what efficiency level is greater than 84% of all vehicles. Now, this one's a little bit different because we're talking about a percentage. And when we do percentages, we're gonna be looking at um, this IN inverse CDF. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a percentage, but we're gonna put it as a decimal. 
And what we wanted is to make sure, turn this one off. We wanted to make sure that 84% was our level. So I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna put um, D, which is the name of our normal distribution, dot I-N-B-E-R-S, CDF, which is inverse CDF. And then I'm gonna put in my percentage, which is just simply 0.84. And that brings us roughly to 26.988, which was 27 for us. If we go back, we can verify our, our answer C. What efficiency level is greater than 84% of all vehicles? 27. Miles uh, per gallon is 84% is greater than most of the vehicles out there, 84% of vehicles out there. The last one is an, also an INV or an inverse. According to the EPA, 5% of all vehicles are considered outliers, and an outlier occur equally on the sides of the mean. What efficiency levels are considered outliers? So when we did this original problem, we said that means 2.5% are um, outliers that are above the mean, and there's 2.5% that are outliers below the mean. So we just have to figure out those levels. So if we come down here and we say, okay, well, what are the 2.5% we have? Uh, we have a percentage value that is at 2.5% that are gonna be outliers. And then we also have uh, a set that is gonna be outliers here. Well, that outlier line or percentage line is gonna be 100 minus 2.5, which is gonna be 97.5%. So when we do this problem, we just simply come to our inverse CDF. We put in 0.025, we put it in as a decimal, which gives us the value of 21. And then we come up and we put in 0.975, which gives us roughly 28.9, which is 29. And What you can see is that uh, at 21 and 29, that's where the outliers are either below or above. We can come back and check that work against our work before on the graph, and we can notice that it's 21 and 